Welcome to Spalatalot! Where a dozen dashing, death-defying attackers go head-to-head -head with those dastardly, diabolical defenders as they strive to capture the much-treasured crown of Splatterlot. <laughs> will the defenders succeed in keeping the attackers at bay and preserve their splatacious kingdom, or will the attackers take over the castle and emerge splatorious? Lots of questions, but the only thing for certain is that someone will go splat! Hi, we're Dick and Dom, and welcome to Splatatious. I like that. Yeah, thank you. It means splat a lot. Right. Uh, <laughs> I am fluent in splat. What? Splat. Oh. The national language of splat a lot. Yeah? It's uh, very easy to master. For example, hello. <laughs> Isn't it a splatty day today? <laughs> the splat at this time of year really is quite squishy. You're just making it all up. <clears throat> here are today's three splats. He means here are today's three rounds. In round one, our 12 attackers face a host of obstacles in the murky moat. The fastest six progress to the next round, where they have to escape the slippery stockade. But only four will make it to the final, where they'll attempt to storm the castle and capture the coveted crown of Splatterlot. You see, I, me, Mr. Splat, would describe that as a splatorically splatacious splatfest of splatiosity. Well, I was just going to say tricky. Right, yeah, yeah. Here's round one in more splatterifically splatacious detail. It starts with the baffling barrels, guaranteed to get us off to a good splat. All start, as we say on planet Earth. Then it's time to take a long, hard splat at the terrifying rolling mace before getting splattered by the beastly battle axes. Allow me to translate. Once they've survived the battle axes, they then have to cross the rope bridge of disaster, which is actually quite difficult. Boring. Come on, splat it up. It's a spectacular rope bridge of disaster. And they finish by clearing the moat on the perilous pole vault, which is quite splattery when wet. OK, OK, so you speak splat. Splat. Well, I don't think there are enough words in the splat language to describe this lot. Trouble is, the defenders don't have many words to describe themselves either. <laughs> Why do you always give them such a hard time? I mean, that is a really tough job being a defender. They know the odds are stacked against them, but come rain or shine, they are out there defending this castle and slowing those attackers down. They're actually quite nice when you get to know them anyway. Splat. First up today is Gildar, who collects pepper pots at car boot sales. Then Crop Ness, whose celebrity friends include Jedward. And finally, Kookaburra, whose ambition is to be the first arch villain to appear on Celebrity MasterChef. Getting through the castle is only half the battle. And we're the other half. <laughs> oh, that was the worst put down ever. This Sandra's got lovely hair. No, I take it back. That was. Here's our first attacker, Sandra, with lovely hair. OK, let's see if she can do any better. <laughs> Kookaburra enjoying things too much. It's as if you attackers think the crown's in the water. You love it in there. <laughs> Kookaburra with the last laugh for now. But she's back up. Norwich! Good! I, I'd rather you not shoot things up. Well, kind of have a castle to defend. I don't like it, but it's a fair point. Mm. She's a bit chatty, this one. Oh, and now she's a bit splatty. Classic. Talks the talk, then splats the splat. And now she's just standing. Wrong horn. <laughs> oh, is that the best tactic, Sandra? This is like a practice session for the defenders. Down the incline she goes. And oh, down the incline she goes. Well, she's trying hard, but so far, nothing's paying off. Now, has she got anything left in the tank? I got this. Yeah, you got it. In the head. <laughs> this girl needs a break. Oh, snuggle up! She's getting splattered out there. Oh, this is too painful to watch. Now the rope bridge is trying out a new Ellie Flumper. Super slow mo Ellie Flumper. How you doing? Oh, when Kookaburra deciding he doesn't even need a cannon. Hey. So I thought I'd give you some water, hey? She doesn't look like she needs a drink or a shower or a bath. But she gets all three at the same time. A drink, a shower, and a bath. Sandra eventually finishes her splat-ridden round in 6.49. Time to meet Hennock. Let's do this! Booyah! I like him already. Oh! Hand Whoa. gesture! Whoa, was that a hand, hand gesture? gesture. Whoa. Two hand gestures! The defenders won't stand for that. And neither will Hennock's much longer splat angle! Was it right to take on the defenders like that? Well, Gildar's on form today, splatting anything that moves. That is pinpoint splatting, and try as he might, Hennick has a one-way ticket to Motesville. Here's our next attacker, Joel. 
Hang on a minute. Don't we usually start with their battle crop? Oh, you're such a stickler for the rules. Well, just give me the remote. Look, I want to go back to the start. All right, we'll stop when he falls off anything. Yalp pair. Yalp pair. Stop! Again! Thank you. Right, this better be worth it. I will talk to Oh, happy now? Right, back to the battle axis. I think we'll come back to John later. I jumped the bar! I can do it! Well, she can certainly get wet. Oh, and that's a very distinctive marching style across the barrels. And quite a distinctive end result, if you consider a splat distinctive. Will she march across the maze? Oh, well, it's a slow start, but... Oh, belly flapper! That's called the penguin. Hey, the march of the penguins. Get it? Look, I'll add some penguins so you get it. There you are, look. You get it now? Come on, even Kookaburra's got it. You get it? Queen of the penguins. Well, of course I get it. Now, will you promise to stop messing about? Yes. What? Well, I didn't get it, and you promised. OK, more penguins. I just pressed this button. Look at that. <laughs> get it? Got it. Good. Enough! Here's Caitlin at the finishing line, and remember, Hedduck both finished with respectable times. Let's go, Blues! Jake looks pretty determined. Oh, barrel dong! Very determined. Nothing was going to stop him slipping and splatting straight into that barrel dong. Even more determined at the bridge now. Oh, big thump! Oh, you got to admire determination like that. He was so focused on taking yet another splat. Can I determinate you? OK, so let's try this. I don't say anything positive or encouraging and... Oh, it worked. Oh, it's not a bad time either. Well, I'm positive thinking from now on. Good luck with Joel. Oh, dear. Yes, poor Joel is stuck on the battle axis. Welcome back to Joel Watch, where not a lot is happening. Oh, yes, it is. He's fallen in. Girl power! Yes, maybe girl power is the answer. Yes, but only if the question is what power will make Jasmine fall at the first barrel. Maybe she's splatty spice. Your aim still a bit off. I am working on it. Oh no, they're bickering again. Push me! Oh, oh but Gildo responds the only way he knows how. Right in the tail. But 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 don't be cheeky. But she doesn't have a tail, and she doesn't have a chance on the battle axes. Super slow mo crumples, please. Do you think she'll be our new queen? Another one bites the moat. Well, despite Kookaburra's taunting, Jasmine did finish the course. Mm, but at 7 minutes 8, she has the time to beat. And the fastest so far is Joel with 2 minutes 39. So we're at the halfway mark in round 1. Why can't it be the halfway Kevin? What? Well, who's Mark when he's at home? Good point. <clears throat> so we're at the halfway Kevin in round 1. Coming up, six new attackers attempt to make their mark. Kevin! Uh, Kevin on this unforgiving course. So are you, uh... You ready for the second half? I was born ready. <laughs> the second half of what? Remember, only the six fastest attackers will make it through to round two. It's all about speed. If you snooze, you lose. Uh, over there. Good. Here's a reminder of how our, our first six did and what the next six attackers have to beat. Lots of bumping. <laughs> Falling, <laughs> slipping, <laughs> gesturing, and splatting. <laughs> Just like that. OK, here are the basics. This is the Spatlock crowd, right? These are the defenders, and they're trying to stop the attackers from getting close to it any way they can. Ready now? I was born ready. OK, here's Ashley. No! Ashley, I couldn't agree more. Let's see how Gildard deals with her. Ashley, I am Gildar. How do you do? Apparently, she doesn't do so well. Oh, vicious pleasantries from Gildar there. But now he's backing it up with his flat zooka. And Ashley, Ashley, Ashley comes face to face with the liquidy brown splat. Oh dear, I don't fancy your chances on the battle axes. You don't fancy it, let's cut straight to the bridge. Very clever. Here's Crocknest looking meaner and greener. And Ashley. Bongos! Well, she doesn't know if she's coming or going. No, she's going. But she does finish with a very presentable 340. Blueberries! Do you think Sophia loves blueberries or hates them? Well, you see, I've thought about this before. And dollop! Well, I doubt she's a big fan of barrels after that. Are you a big barrel fan? No opinion on the matter. Sophia, how you doing there, mate? Maybe Kookaburra should let Gildar do all the shooting and the talking. It's a great hit, and hanging on to the mace won't solve anything. Well done now, taking aim. Bum, 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 bum! Oh. Huh? Oh. Excellent! Sophia getting a little cheeky there. Oh, now what? Oh, hang on. Yeah, the penguin's back. 
Want me to wash that soap off you? Oh, if it looks good splat. Hang on, where do those lasers come from? Bring it on, says Sophia. <laughs> oh, and Gildar does just that. Sophia loses her footing on the bridge. Oh, splat! Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh. She bravely gets up. But that bridge is too sleepy. Floppy feet. OK, let's see if she's learned anything. Cold enough for you? Sophia getting lippy, so Croc makes it slippy and into the dippy. Here's Shane. When I see Santa, he sits on my Santa would crush him, he's tiny. But he has a heart the size of a barrel. No, that'd be impractical. Oh, there's a first look. Gildar missing his close up. Ah, look, all the lovely penguins are back in the water. Now, are... no, will you stop it with all your silly penguins? Here's our next ferocious attacker, Dylan. I'm gonna blow you away like a human! Here he is at the maze. Well, he's, uh, he's certainly. He's, yes, he's moving across. Yes, he, and he's moving down! That's what you get with rolling maces. We woke up the sound department. Yeah, nice save there, Dylan. Aha, now, get out of that. Come on. Oh, yes. Now, oh, I think Crockness has something to say. G'day! She never shuts up, does she? Don't worry, that water cannon's doing all the talking. See, just making it slippy enough for Dylan to slide down. G'day and good night, Dylan. No, it's not good night, it's au revoir, as it looks like we'll be seeing Dylan and Shane in the next round. Ninja Do you think she's a real ninja? I think you have your answer. However you look at it, it's a splat. You know, I would never wear a mouth guard because then people couldn't see my... Impeccable smile. I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have gone down very well with Samantha either. Well, if it's a choice between Gildar's molars and the Splatlock moat, well, then the moat wins every time. Oh, no! Samantha's a spotting target! Oh. Ooh, that is not all! That is Splatterlot! <laughs> Good shot, Gildar! Thank you, Croc. And <laughs> thank you all at home. Oh, no, he's making me mad today. Calm down, dear. Look, there's another attacker on the course. Uh-oh, Taylor's a shouter. Plus, he's commentating on himself. Oh, I don't care. He shut Gildar up. Oh, this is... this is going to be hard. Let's do it! Ooh, well, thanks, Taylor. You pretty much said it all yourself. Although nothing says it better than our super subtle sound effects. So, let's see how Taylor and Samantha did. Well, the mini Mouse your mouth is through, and Ninja Wannabe Samantha is not. Well, we've now seen all 12 attackers. <laughs> Hang on. Well, we started with a dozen. Uh, yeah. No need to worry, though. Uh, yeah, uh, we only need the six fastest. Who are Joel, Taylor, Dylan, Ashley, Shane and Jake? Meatloaf. Uh, mm. So, sadly, Caitlin has received her marching orders. Ah, oh, so no more penguins? No. The last thing anyone wants in the next round is a rogue penguin flapping about. It's battle lots hard enough as it is. So, who has what it takes to take today's crown? Well, we know there can only be one champion. So who will it be out of these fine attackers? Taylor, Joel, Ashley, Shane, Dylan or Jake? Quite frankly, we just can't wait to find out. So, what we're going to do now is predict the winner by drawing their name out of a hat. Pick the hat. <coughs> Percy! Ha <laughs> ha! So, there you have it. Our prediction is that Percy will... Hang on a minute. There isn't a Percy. Try again. Ah. Percy! <laughs> Again. <laughs> Percy! I right, just forget that one, okay? Should we move on? The next round eliminates two more attackers, so we'll be one step closer to knowing the answer. Ah. Percy! <laughs> Welcome to the stockade. The attackers start bound to the spinning wheel. They have to wait until the klaxon sounds, and then they can stumble and totter over to the ladder rungs. Trouble is, they don't always fit the slots in the ladders, so it's not as easy as it seems. They then can grab one of four flags, climb their ladder, and escape the stockade. But with only four flags, two attackers won't survive. Yeah, yes, but uh, on a more positive note, uh, four will survive. OK. Here's another negative. The defenders. She hurts like a blister. It's Ballista. He's not on your side. He's in your side. He's Thorn. And there's nothing fair about this maiden. It's Shaden. It's almost poetic. Uh, don't be pathetic. OK, back to the stockade. The attackers are strapped in. Joel's in the green. Taylor's in the yellow. Dylan has gone for orange. 
Ashley's dressed in pink, Shane's gone stripy, and Jake's feeling blue. OK, let's start the spin cycle. Now bring on the foam. The good thing about this game is that it's self-cleaning. And we're off. So, step one, grab a ladder on. Come on, attackers! Step two, let the annihilating arms do their work. Kiss Bungle. Possible splat of the day there. Oh, now that's a quick, slick move from Joel there. Nice slide down the wheel and brackets! Yes, he got everything right but the landing. Witness the wrath of Shaden. Well, they can't really witness anything, to be honest. Now they've got mountains of foam clogging up their goggles. It hasn't stopped Taylor, though, from getting his first rung on the ladder. The defenders better keep an eye on him. Yes, Taylor only just made it through round one, so maybe he's making a comeback. Giant haystacks! Giant haystacks! Giant haystacks! Sorry there, Taylor, the curse of the commentator. That arm is lethal. It's not called the annihilating arm for nothing, you know. Look, it's a double wang twacker straight into the creamy muck muck. Thorn with a lethal aim. Hey, Blue! Smile for me! And Belisa with a lethal mouth. Jake finding absolutely nothing to smile about. Hold on all you like, but it's not going to do you any good. He's right. If they just hang on to the arm, then no one's going to finish. Hey, wait, hang on. Is, isn't that Joel hanging on? Seems familiar. Oh, uh, yes, didn't work then. Not working now. Now, remember, it's not just the arm on the wheel that we've got to look out for. Bolton! Yes, if you don't have eyes in the back of your head, then you'll get an arm in the back of your head. I'm waiting, attackers. She doesn't look like a waiter. No, and I don't think Joel will be leaving her a tip. He really didn't enjoy that meal. So is anyone making any progress here? Well, Dylan's progressing to the bottom of the wheel. Now, Thorne's sharp shooting has blasted off one of Joel's shoes, but he's still the first to claim a flag. I'm not sure about this, though. I know you want to look your best, mate, but you do have a contest to win. Well, he is a long way ahead, and there he goes up the ladder. Yes, he's through! What an amazing feat! How can you tell? His shoe's back on. Shut up. Look out. Shane's got her eye on someone. It's Taylor! Yes, it's a splat attack on Taylor's hat. Jake now making his way up the wheel. And Jake making his way down the wheel. And the top shot reveals what a big hit that was. Obviously, all the foam underfoot is not helping. Ashley now at the top of the wheel. And despite Thorn, she grabs the second flag. Yes, it looks like she'll be joining Joel in the final. But look, she's barely got the energy to flap her flag. Knock, knock. Who's there? there? Thorn! Thorn is there, that's you! Thorn! <laughs> Funny! Ooh, well, that's the perfect response to Thorn's joke there from Belisa, but once more the defenders are bickering. Five, four, three, two, one! Oh, but when they work together, they're lethal! They force Taylor to look up and whack a -lack, Another top splat! Yes, but look, it hasn't slowed him down. He's now climbing that ladder to success and is the third attacker through. And now it gets tense. Only one flag remains. And Jake has it! He's down the wheel, up the ladder, and waving his flag. Which means we now have our four finalists, Taylor, Ashley, Jake and Joel. Bye-bye, Shane and Dylan. And bye-bye, Stockhead. So, uh, who stood out for you in that round? Ballista. No, out of the attackers. Oh, yes, well, Taylor is still good value for money. He really knows how to take a splat. Yes, cool. <laughs> But funny. So, here they are. Our four contenders. They all won that crown. They certainly do. But they have to win the final round. It's got more splats than you can shake a slime stick at. Wow, that last round was really most splatterendous. Splatterendous? Yes, yes. It's a funny little word that comes from... A funny little man. Right. I think it's time we had some splat stats. <clears throat> Joel is the star performer so far. He was the fastest in the moat challenge and was also the first to escape the stockade. But that will all mean nothing if he doesn't capture the crown in the final. And don't forget Taylor, Ashley and Jake. Yes, these four finalists are about to take on their most terrifying challenge yet. And it's not just the splatterendous course they'll be struggling with. It's all six defenders too. Not only Crocknest, Gildar and Kookaburra, but Shade and Thorn and Belista too. And they've never looked meaner. Yes, well, the attackers have never looked keener. Here's how they line up from top to bottom. We have Jake, Joel, Ashley and Taylor. They'll be crossing the terrifying teeter-totters, bouncing over the boys and climbing the water wall in order to claim that all-important splatterlock crown. Quack! 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 
Hey, I don't get it. Are the defenders going quackers? Is that it? No, it's worse than that, mate. Sadly, it's just the defenders' way of saying duck. That really wasn't worth waiting for, was it? No, sorry. But Ashley ducks and avoids the slime. Clever move, but it looks like she might have injured herself. And sadly, Ashley has had to pull out of the contest. How unlucky is that? It just goes to show how demanding this course really is and what an achievement it is to win that crown. Taylor struggling to stay on the teeter, but in fact, all three remaining attackers are struggling. Yes, the teeters are causing a lot of tottering, and of course, that just leads to a lot of splatting right into the goose fat. But despite Belisa's attention, Taylor is the first across the teeters. But Crockness and Kookaburra just add to the pressure, and that can only lead to one thing as well. Cause splat, Uncle Funk! Oh, so you do speak splat. You know, these slime balls are made of Tinker's boogers. Do you speak Kookaburra? Ah, yes, he means the slimy balls are actually Tinker's bogeys. Oh! Kookaburra's such a showman. Hey! Can you handle the mighty Gildar? Hardly surprising that Gildar's getting in on the axe. And Joel providing Gildar with his answer straight into the decaffeinated splatwater. I didn't think so. Taylor literally hanging on there. You had enough? Never! But he's fighting back and giving Thorn something to think about. Back to the teachers and Jake and Joel are being picked on by Gildar. And this is too easy for Gildar. Splats are up, attackers are down. Can you at least pretend like you want the crown? Oh, no, that's a bit harsh. What's Joel up to? Oh, I know. Look at that. He thinks he's surfing. Look, I wish he would stop messing about with the graphics machine. It's not a toy. Look, he's amped, dude, and locked into the barrel on his longboard. This could be Mondo. Off the wall or even Nalacious, dude. Don't talk like that ever again, OK? Taylor is still under attack, but he's making his move. Oh, well, not quite as planned, but he's still way out of the lead. Yes, because Jake and Joel are still on the teasers. Uh-oh, Taylor's nearly there. I don't think the other attackers can make it now. You're right, because Taylor has got the crown and is the new king of Splatterlots. Hmm, maybe someone should tell Jake and Joel. What a great final. All hail Taylor. Good job, everybody. Really good job. As ever, the defenders take defeat really badly. They haven't lost. They've stopped 11 attackers from taking the crown. Well, uh, I look at it this way. Uh, go, Taylor, in your face, loser. King Taylor, he's a king now. Yay! Here's Splat of the Day. As always, we've seen some amazing splats. Every round gave us some memorable moments, but there can only be one Splat of the Day! And fittingly, it's from Taylor. Let's do it! Ooh, one more time. Ooh, and again. Oof! Whack! Oof! Splat. Priceless. All right, all right, look. I think you should be treating our, our new king with a little more respect. Sorry, Your Highness. Better. Mm. Let's see how our King Taylor made his way to the crowd. Well, there were plenty of slides. A lot of slips. Too many hits. And a ton of slime. But despite all of this and more, he made his way to the top and became the rightful heir to the throne. Well, that's your lot on today's Splatterlot. Next time, we'll have plenty more twists, turns, thwacks and splats. But now, we'll leave you with the new king in town. <laughs>